Today we're going to count numbers beyond 10. And let me show you how we're going to do that. What do I have here? Let's count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10. This is 10. Now watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 11. Let's count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 12. See, we've got our 12. Well, let's do another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 13. With the children, you could keep going at this point, or you could stop and review 11, 12, and 13. You know, placing the cards back, and doing it again, having the children build it and count it, whatever the children need to support their um, to support their development. But if they're if they're ready to go on to 14, 15, all the way through, you absolutely can do that with them. As you get beyond, as we get to say 14, and these quantities beyond beyond 13 especially, you can point out 14. I can hear four in that. There's four and I see there's four beads and the number four is in that number. So you can have these kinds of conversations with them to help them remember that, you know, 15, that's almost like five. I can hear that in there. Whatever's going to help them remember and practice with those teens uh, and they can work through this sort of again and again till they build that that competency. You can get to the point where you could build 14 with the cards and then ask them to go get the quantity or build the quantity and ask them to get the cards. Any sort of repetition that's going to support them as they, as they solidify this understanding of the teens.